Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am your host Anna and my channel name is Only My Dreams. Today I'm sharing with you some fragrances that I picked up from FragranceNet.com. I will admit I do have one that is in my purse as we speak. I bought the sprayer for um, Juliet's Got a Gun and the fragrance name is Mmm, just a bunch of M's and I do like it. It's a very short-lived, close to the body scent. Um, but, but I do like it. So I'm glad I got the body spray. Um, I think it ran me, oh, I want to say $15, maybe close to 20. I can't remember, but, um, all Juliet, Juliet has a gun fragrances usually run a hundred plus. So that was a good deal to get a sprayer to see if I liked it. Okay. And it's a travel spray. So I get lots of use out of it. So let's start off with this one right here. The, they do sell fragrances that are considered testers. So this is a tester. And sometimes you'll get a box. Sometimes you won't get a box. It just varies. And sometimes you'll get a lid. Sometimes you won't get a lid. This one is Taos Touch. And um, they do have two different Taos Touches. Um, so this one is like the first one. And uh, it comes in this really beautiful bottle, as you can tell, with the gold. kind of has almost a uh, hammered out look to the lid. And then it has their little emblem. Now, I do also have, it didn't bring it to me, uh, bring it with me. I have Taos Touch Floral, which I absolutely, absolutely adore and love. Um, beautiful scent. Maybe I'll pull that out next time. So let's open her up. And um, let me see. I'm going to put some in a box here. I'm just going to do my first impressions for you guys. Very quick first impressions. And I just did a Alta haul. That's why you see these swatches on me. <laughs> Go check that out. Got this really nice Urban Decay palette. New one. That's beautiful. Okay, this one is a very gentle, soft, floral, has some musk in it, amber, beautiful scent. I think this would do very well during the summer, um, during the summer, going into spring and fall. I wouldn't wear this during the winter. I don't think the notes will play out well during the winter with the cold, but I could be wrong. This, uh, this is a day and night scent. Very pretty. Okay. So yes, I definitely like this one. First impressions, but in this line, floral, floral touch. Oh my God. And the bottle is extraordinarily beautiful. And so is the scent absolutely adore it so if you want to look at taos floral touch um floral touch oof can't say enough about that okay so sometimes i like to pick up a celebrity scent so this is shakira and this is sweet dream you only live once i did pull it out because i wanted to try it and let's look at the bottle the bottle is really pretty as you could tell, the bottle's just gorgeous. And it has like almost like a mic. The lid is like a mic because she is a singer, if you didn't know. And um, what I thought about this fragrance is I will be, it's a citrus, it has a citrus scent to it. So immediately I knew summer, summer fragrance, I'm going to have to tuck this away until summertime comes. Because this is a definite citrus with a floral behind it. And when I tried it, it the scent was not a very long lasting scent, but it is winter. So I think it's going to perform really well during the summer when citruses really shine. And that's when they really last longer with the heat. So this is going to be a scent for the summer for me. Here we go. Okay. So again, this is Shakira Sweet Dream. Um, really pretty bottle. Um, the scent didn't last too long on me when I just tested it, but a definite summer scent. Okay, let's go to another celebrity scent. Um, Pink, um, Pink Friday by Nicki Minaj. 
and I was reading a lot of the different reviews and I wanted a sweet fragrance and that is what I got honey so this is a Nicki Minaj right here really cool looking bottle um, it's called Pink Friday she's got on her chain this is her hair love the bottle stands out on its own then when you spray it let me get my box because I have used it already I put her back on here here we go so you can see this beautiful bottle this is a beautiful sweet gourmand scent this just very it has like a softness to it which is really pretty but again it is a sweet gourmand scent so you would definitely want to enjoy sweet scents there's a little bit of a floral all the way in the back but what i'm getting most is that sweetness with the floral in the back so it's not too overwhelming as far as the sweetness it's not like a candy sweet but um it's still a sweet scent um, i really like it i've already rocked this a couple of times and it does a lot better performance on my clothing versus my skin. So this has this lasted um, several hours on my clothes. And that's Nicki Minaj Pink Friday. Then we're looking at Police. Um, most of their bottles look like skulls. And this is an updated bottle that they have available now. It's called Sweet Like Sugar. So it's not the skull that they normally would have. They're actually you know changing changing up their bottles right now so if you don't recognize it immediately <laughs> i guess it's not a skull they are changing up their bottles um i was looking for something sweet so it says sweet like sugar and um let me spray it it kind of reminded me which i do have another sprayer I forgot what the name of it is pink sugar i think that's what it reminds me of. This has more of a synthetic feel, um, cheapy, not uh, top of the line, but is definitely a sweet, sugary scent. But it is, I definitely feel that it's more on the synthetic side. Um, I would probably, if I have a vanilla, I would probably try to do a little mixologist moment and put, you know, use my vanilla, use this, and then maybe something else that might have a little bit more depth, maybe um, almost something that has a little bit more spice. If I could find something that has like a little, almost like amber cinnamon type of action, um, foodie like this would be a really good combo to do a mix with something but on its own I don't I liked it but I didn't like it because I thought it was just too synthetic it didn't last long at all but I could see it doing well mixing it up with something else to make it into something that it could be so I wasn't too impressed by sweet like sugar um, you know it could have been better it just could have been better, at least for me. That's just my personal opinion. Then the next one is Lolita Lompica Sweet. Okay. Now I've reached for this already three or four times. And um, this is a beautiful, sweet gourmand scent. The bottle is just charming. It has like the little heart. has the two L's for Lolita Lompica. And the sweet note in here is wonderful if you're looking for it uh, this just has a really beautiful combination of sweetness plus um plus a, a, it's like a, a very light floral with the sweet gourmand but it does not feel synthetic. It's a very pleasing, sweet gourmand, something that makes you feel a little bit more, uh, 
how would you say more expensive versus the police sweet like sugar, which is more synthetic. The Nikki Minaj is a good one. Um, so I would probably pick this one first, Lolita Lumpika Sweet, because uh, I really like the way it developed. It's a more sophisticated scent um, versus a juvenile sweet. It has a little bit more sophistication to it. Um, it really and truly does. It has some more sophistication to it. So again, I was looking for sweet scents and I, you know, I gear towards these three right here. And then I do have another one that's in my purse, but I'll, you know, I'll review that later. This one's going to be great for the summer because it has a like citrus in it. This is a beautiful, very sensual, just like touch sensual, uh, just sexy, almost has a creaminess to it now as it develops. And you smell the musk and the amber. Very beautiful. And you smell the, the beautiful florals. It's, this is a beautiful scent. This is a really beautiful scent. Taos Touch. Taos Touch is a beautiful scent as well. So those are those are my picks. I'd pick Lolita, Lompica, Taos Touch, Nicki Minaj. Um, this is going to be summer only. And in this, I'm going to have to mix it up with some other stuff. So those are my picks out of all my purchases and how I felt about them. So I, go, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'm going to talk to y'all later. Bye.